so we still have two more weeks. <laughs> um, I shouldn't... I mean, I did ruin the water supply. Yeah. 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 You probably don't want to screw things up anymore with your magic, Jasmine. No. Let's... You're a bad magician. Apparently. Um... Crap. Maybe... I think you should clean up the alchemy tower. I think that's what you should do. <laughs> okay, I'll clean up the alchemy tower. Yeah. Clean the lab. Clean the lab. Hide the evidence. <laughs> you spend the week cleaning up noxious chemicals. You're paid one wealth for your labor and gain one physique and one magic. One day you hear one of the alchemists shout, Eureka! When you look over to see what he's done, you co- you spot a small, previously dead ferret come to life. Oh. What? I figured out the antidote to death, the alchemist explains. The undead ferret lets out a horrific noise and lumbers about slowly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> Praise uh, the alchemist. Uh, <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Praise him as your new lord and I'll savior. Praise him. Good job. That's amazing, you say, slightly discomforted by the ferret's presence. You didn't hurt the alchemist's feelings. <laughs> he came to charm. <laughs> well, at least I didn't hurt his feelings. That's all, right, all where are you matters, going, right? Big Red? Um... Uh, I think I'll go to the arena, and I'll compete. You spend the week fighting brutes in the arena. You get two physique and one finesse. While, while wandering around the halls between the matches, you spot your former lover, Kelly. Kelly. An awkward exchange happens in which you want to know how they're doing without seeming to care too much. <laughs> After a few minutes, Gene, one of the most popular fighters in the arena, butts into the conversation. Gene. Hey, Kelly. Sorry to interrupt. But we've got to leave right away if we want to make it to your mother's in time. Oh, Gene. Gene. You say an awkward goodbye as they walk off holding hands. How do you feel? Do you feel happy for Kelly or extremely jealous? I'll tell you what I feel right now. What do you feel? I feel like Gene's a fucking asshole. He is. I feel extremely jealous, Gene. You become extremely grumpy for the rest of the week. You lose oh, one no. charm. You're, not, you're no fun to be around. You channel your rage into working out. You get two physique. There you go. Oh, there My you physique are. is at 11, you guys. You know what? I never trusted Gene. <coughs> mm-hmm. That guy's such a guy's oh. dick. Oh, growing up, he was such a bully. <laughs> Figures that he'd be working in the arena. Where are you going? Um, you know, we're gonna go to the gardens. We haven't visited the gardens yet. Mm. Landscape or meditate? Gonna meditate. Meditate on all of your sins. You spend the week in deep meditation. You gain one magic and two mind. Nice. One day, on your way home from the park, you come across a golden ring in the grass. Wear that ring. Upon placing the ring on your finger, orange glowing markings appear on the outside of the band. The markings unravel themselves from the ring and swirl in front of you. The ring to rule them all. They form into what appears to be a fully armored ghost, oh. radiating a beautiful orange light. The ghost turns to you and nods before walking away. Mm. That was cool. <laughs> the ring looks good on you. There you go. Gain one charm. <laughs> that ghost was awesome. Yeah. When it arrives this time, how will we fare? Will we, will we once more rebuild, move on, be strong, or have we forgotten? Oh, look at that. Two it's more weeks, funny. everybody. Is it on the sixth week that the... It's after the sixth week. Okay, after so the sixth week. So you get six weeks. Okay. Yeah, so... Where are you going? I got a lot of magic. Yeah, you do. I got some magic from that garden, if yeah, you want any garden. more. Uh, garden? Yeah. Um, you got, I think you got it from meditating, so I'll meditate. You spend the week in deep meditation. You gain one magic and two mind. Nice. One notice. One day you notice a woman watering the garden plants. Suddenly the plants sprout giant mouse. Oh shit. She is eaten immediately. Oh. The plants outroop themselves and begin charging towards the denizens of the park. Whoa. You manage to escape alongside everyone else. Oh, do you think it's because I threw that potion in the water well? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I can't blast them? Um. Did you? Well, what do you do? Uh, Considering what you did with that potion, I would imagine you'd stay away. I think I would too. No one needs to know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> stay away. Oh, the Clark Park is closed down for extermination. 
Oh. <laughs> did I ruin the park? <laughs> yeah. You did. I did. <laughs> you are a terrible person. <laughs> the gardens are dead to us now, Jasmine. Sucks. <clears throat> Big well, Red no really had his heart set on going to the garden today. I too. know. <laughs> no one needs to know what happened. Um, Big Red's gonna go back to the palace. <laughs> he wants to attend more balls. You spend the week attending fancy gatherings. You gain two charm and one piece of finesse. Nice. One day, the king approaches you. Whoa. Excuse me, but you look like someone who I could confide in, he says. I really want a prince to take over the throne, but the queen and I aren't exactly <laughs> active in the bedroom. <laughs> he blushes a little bit. I wonder bit. what he means. Do you have any advice how I could romance the queen, so to speak? What? Yeah, you're blushing as well. Tell him um, to grow a mustache. <laughs> Teach the king your ways, or admit you I, don't I'm know I'm not going to admit that I don't know how to help, so I'll teach him what yeah. ways I have. <laughs> he spent hours drawing a bunch of diagrams going through scenarios with the king. By the end of it, he's just as charming as you are. How charming am I? Oh, my charm's a ten. Charming as fuck. He thanks you and hands you a large sack of coins as a reward. Nice. Three wealth. Hells yeah. Hells is where it's happening. <clears throat> All right. Where are we going to go? You know what? What are my stats at right now? They're kind of... Yeah, kind of a, a mix. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the arena. Arena? Yep. We and this to... time we're going to fight. You beat and fight. You spend the week fighting brutes in the arena. Chew with your you gain two physique and one finesse. Nice. During a match, another warrior's weapon is knocked from their grasp. You barely manage to avoid it. With a sickening crunch, it destroys the knee of a nearby bystander. Oh. Oh. Shit. He accuses you of causing him harm by not stopping the flying weapon. Well, you barely got out of the way. He takes you to court. What a dick. Do Defend yourself. You object, but you can't seem to convince the judge. What? what? He rules in the plaintiff's favor and orders you to surrender too well. Uh, what a dick. Yog, it's almost here. Almost. Almost. My turn again. Oh man, this is the last week, so I gotta, so I gotta make a count. Let's... I would tell you to go to the garden, but no, mm. the garden's mm. destroyed. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the alchemy tower again. Alchemy tower? Yeah. You just you're having bad luck at the al alchemy tower, guys. I don't care. Brew potions and lotions. <laughs> you spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. You gain two mind and one magic. No, no two magic and one mind. Oh, sorry. <laughs> one day, all the alchemists decide to take to take a break from work and instead throw a cantrip party. Cantrips! When Alchemy waves his hand and produces confetti. <laughs> yep. Another spawns a seemingly endless number of doves from his sleeves. Oh. All the alchemists turn to you to see what you can do. I have a lot of magic, so let's do a complex trick. Yeah. Let's do it. With the snap of your fingers, you bring a chair to life. You sit atop of it and ride it around the room. Everybody else is quite impressed. I'm amazing. You get two charm. <laughs> Nice. I was amazing. All right. Um, uh, I think I'll go back to where it all began. You and drink I'll bartend, actually. You spend the week serving drinks at the tavern. You're in one wealth and tips and two charm. Nice. You're charming. One day, while at the tavern, a heated argument erupts between two patrons. Soon enough, fists are flying. Everyone seems to be joining in on the violence. Join the fray or break up the fight. Ooh. I don't know. You're already you're the party guy. Yeah, I'm gonna join the fray. <laughs> you jump into the thick of the fight and let loose some pent up rage on the unsuspecting patrons. Take that, Gene. <laughs> <laughs> you gain one physique from all the exertion. It's for Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Kelly. I would like to go to the palace. Yeah. You look like the kind of guy that would go to the palace. And of course I'm going to attend the ball. You spend the week attending fancy gatherings. So fancy. You gain two charm and one finesse. One day you hear somebody shouting something in the hallway. There's a bomb in the palace! Oh. They scream. Oh shit. There is a mass panic as people try desperately to escape the palace's walls. I'm going to locate and disarm the bomb. Oh, you're like Jack Bauer. You run deeper into the castle, trying to figure out where the explosives are hidden. Are you gonna die? You manage to find them in the wine cellar, disguised as barrels of wine. Oh shit! <clears throat> I the was bomb appears that to be wine. 
I recall somebody having a party down there. I think it was one of your buddies. <clears throat> the bomb appears to be on a detonator that is controlled by a powerful magic. You realize immediately you won't be able to figure it out, and you get out of the building as quickly as you can. You're almost out when the bomb goes off. Oh, shit. It is a huge explosion that knocks you through a wall. You lose one physique. Oh, damn. Oh, that was bullshit, you guys. The storm arrives in the night. By the morning, it still rages. For three full days, the tempest puts us through a grinder, drowns us, crushes us, ruins us. But then it ends. We see the graveyard of our home, that our home has become our home. Does anything yet live? Is it? Are we? Past saying? Saving. 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 <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Aww. Aww. Look at it. Yeah. It's all, it's all ruined. All right, so this is the part I think that we choose what we want to do, and this dictates how the story ends. Oh, okay. Oh, so we get yeah. to like choose how we rebuild our lives? Mm-hmm. So, um, well, it's me first. Oh, it's you first, that's right. Yeah, so I have a lot of magic. You're gonna be a conjurer, you know you are. Let's do that, let's do the conjurer. You take it upon yourself to help conjure up supplies for the town. With your magic, you summon supplies of the highest caliber. With little effort, you're summoning high quality lumber and food from out of nowhere. Nice. This helps with rebuilding effort significantly. Nice. Nice, okay. Well, I want to be the town drunk. My physique's really high. I feel like I should be the builder. Maybe. Your charm is too. Your charm is really high too. Oh, that's true. I don't know what charm dictates though. I could be the leader with my charm. You could. I'm totally gonna be the leader. <clears throat> you take it upon yourself to be the leader of the survivors. You're so incredibly charming, everyone readily lets you guide them. You're not the brightest, however, <laughs> and aren't terribly efficient with organizing everyone. Good job, Ash. Still, having a charismatic leader helps the rebuilding effort a lot. You're not very smart, but at least you're charming. <clears throat> All right. Uh, I had a high charm, too. Yeah. You also have high finesse and physique. I'm going to go ahead and be the looter. The yeah. looter? Yep. You break into abandoned buildings and hoard together everything for yourself. <laughs> you gain three wealth. Nice. You gain another three wealth. This hurts the survival effort. <laughs> And so we set about our task once more, living our lives. This time in a way we might never have expected, or even wanted. But in the end... Oh, we were defeated! Those of us left struggled to put our homes to rights, but the effort was futile. Doom. The city blood survivors eventually becoming a husk. A dead thing. And perhaps the Yogg was only partly to blame. Aww. Oh. Yeah, I think the other part to blame was me stealing everybody's stuff. It's yeah, you was jerk. You. Yeah. Sorry, you guys. Oh. So we were defeated. Your previous alchemy experience served you well after the Yogg. You start an underground potion brewing facility. You get people hopelessly addicted to your variety of substances <laughs> and exchange them for favors and services. Mm -hmm. Favors and services. That's right. You do well for yourself within the broken walls of this former village. The fact that many people are dying from potion overdose pays too little. There we go. Uh, you've yeah, already I bet killed it does. quite a lot of people. Yeah. With your I think you're a sociopath to tell <laughs> <coughs> With a town in ruins, you decide to flee and go through the woods and seek a new home. The venture is cut short, however, oh, as you are mauled to death by mysterious <laughs> beasts. <laughs> Good job, Ash. You died. You escape the ruined town with giant bags of coins, jewels, and other valuable trinkets. You move to a new city, living a life of luxury and elegance. Unfortunately, the new city you move to has their own horrible evil, the Bayeg. The Bayeg sweeps through the city, tearing apart everything you know. This time, you go to rummaging you go to rummaging through the debris for valuables, you encounter a group of people doing the same. You get into a knife fight with one of them, which results in you bleeding out on a pile of rubble. Oh god! Well, at least I lived the lap of luxury for a while. <laughs> Jasmine's the only one that somehow made it out okay. I have my own underground brewing. Drug drug dealer is what you mean. You're, you're a pusher. Metal you're lab? a pusher. Yeah. I have the blue bottles. You know what? I lived <laughs> I lived the life I wanted to live. All right. Yeah. You just got mauled by a mysterious beast. It's true. Ashy yeah, died. I did. I was the leader, you guys. Aww. If not for one day. All right, everybody, that's where we're gonna end it on this one. We've been stumped, I've been Ash, joined by Rick and Jasmine, and we've been playing the Yogg. 
If you like what you saw, give us a like, give us a favorite, and be sure to subscribe. Be sure to subscribe. <laughs> we'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye.